Hey everyone, it's Leon. A little bit ago, I published a blog that I titled Absolutely Simple Infrastructure Monitoring. The point of it was for folks who come from perhaps a sysadmin or even a network engineering background to get into New Relic in the simplest way possible, meaning you just want to dip your toes in the water, you want to try some stuff out, but you don't want to certainly put something from production in, and you just want to see how it works. So I did this. It's real quick and simple, not particularly applicable to, you know, your entire fleet of systems, but it gets you an idea of how it's going. So I want to walk through that. We're going to start out with, um, you know, being in New Relic. So the first thing you need to do is have a New Relic account. So just make sure you've got one. We'll put a little, you know, link to it at the bottom of this uh, screen. Once you have that, you actually don't have to do a whole lot uh, except for do the install. Now, before we get to the install part, I want to talk about what we're installing on. Uh, here is a uh, Linux system. It's actually running Ubuntu. I just installed it and I'm SSH'd into it. There's nothing much going on there. It's just, you know, Ubuntu 20, I think, 20.4. And there's nothing else on there except SSH so I can get there. And you want to be SSH'd in because you're going to have to copy and paste some commands. Um, and so you, if you're doing a virtual machine, make sure that you can do that copy and paste. The, the commands are too long for you to want to have to type out all the time. So just be warned about that. So back here in New Relic, I want to add a machine. So down here, we've got add more data. What kind? I'm going to look for infra infrastructure, New Relic Infrastructure Agent right there. Um, obviously, there's a lot of choices here. There's actually a Linux-specific one, but I'm just going to go with infrastructure for the moment. What's the operating system? It's Linux. And now I'm going to begin the installation. Uh, there's you know, two steps here, discovery and then installing the agent. So we're going to start off. And it's going to give you a command that you're supposed to put into the other system. So copy the command. I'm going to bring this over here. Middle click. There you go. It's starting the installation. It wants my password because it's going to do some pseudo stuff. No, I'm not telling you my password. And it's going to start the installation. Okay, so the installation happened. Obviously, I had to do some speed up because nobody wants to sit here and listen to me drink my tea right now. And it installed the uh, infrastructure agent. It also installed the logging agent. And it's detected uh, monitoring that can be configured using golden signal alerts. Do I want those? Yes, of course I want golden signal alerts. I want to see what they're all about at least. So yes, so it's installing those now too. And it will tell you which of those golden signal alerts are being installed and added. Uh, high CPU, application error percentage, uh, response time, throughput. Would you like to be notified on your registry email address, which is the one that I signed up for when this uh, alert triggers? Yes, of course I do. Probably not, honestly, but you know, again, this is a, a lab setup, so we're going to try it. And there's my summary. It's all done. This link here obviously is where I can see my data, but I want to point out, I'm going to move this out of the way now, that also, oh, it went away, but it was there on the screen. I apologize for that. So I can go see my data. There's a link again for that too. And it will take me straight to the information about this host. Uh, I called it a dotoplex. Uh, and you know you can see it's collecting some network traffic right now. Not much else going on on the CPU thing, but this is 30 minutes ago. Uh, you know you could increase that time frame to you know 60 minutes, three hours, etc. But nothing going on because I literally just did it. But this is it. This is monitoring this system. It could be your laptop. It could be a virtual machine running on your laptop. Whatever you want, just to kick the tires on it. So. I hope that was simple enough, and I also hope it gives you the confidence to jump into New Relic and load it up on a couple of things, see what they do, kick the tires on it, and hopefully that'll get you started on your New Relic journey. Thank you so much.